Hello friends in the last video we have learned how to navigate between activities in both kotlin and java we we learned by comparing how it is working on both kotlin and java in this video we are focusing about how to pass a value a string value in between these uh, activities the same way we are uh, learning by comparing with both kotlin and java how we can pass uh, values between for example from main activity to the second activity in both kotlin and java so let's get start first with kotlin let's create a new project for kotlin click empty activity and just uh, Type the name demo app Kotlin and make sure the language is Kotlin. You select that, click finish. Then go to your layout activity dot main. Change this to relative layout. And just right click and copy and paste it again so we need to create a second activity so we can save time by doing like this second activity is came just to delete this main activity line and change text id and make it center you can change the text size and come back to main activity and change the text to button sorry edit text so which we need to get some input from user and make input type text create one button can uh, name it uh, next activity or something click match parent and the uh, wrap content add the string add it to string and provide one id keep it center below the edit text so we can get one input from user in edit text and while clicking the submit or the next activity button we need to pass the text value to next activity so let's go to main main activity kotlin file just like we did before just to copy it and paste for it second activity and from the second activity change the mapping to second activity don't forget this step then go to android manifest xml just tell the system we have one more activity we created then come back let's do the some coding Well, edit text equal to find by id type cast it is edit text and r dot id dot edit text then we have one more object button same like val button next equal to find the view by id it is a button r dot id dot btn next so now we need a button set on click listener set so btn next dot set on click listener inside the inside we can code what are things to happen so create an indent as we did in the last video while indent 
equal to indent this comma next indent a second activity then we can put class dot java so we can start activity as we have done in the previous video start activity indent now things will work it will go to the second activity but we need to take one value also with while going so create a text then edit text dot text so our what are the inside the edit text field will be in the text now so we can create indent dot put extra function then we provide the name then the value and go to second activity well is equal to text view so we have a text view there to view this uh, passed by value so tv is equal to find view by id it's a text view r dot id dot tv dot what now we need to catch the parsed value so value well new intent is equal to intent and new intent get string extra function we can use for this and the, the provided value is name so this should be matching on the here and previous activities so we can assign this to one text text value now we can set the value into the text field so text field tv dot text is equal to hello plus text value that's it now let's run the project and see how it is coming okay emulator is started okay the main activity came now let's type here zayan tech this zayan tech, zayan tech should be readable in the next activity so let's click next activity from the main activity zayan tech is we are passing to second activity see hello zayan tech so it's working fine super now we are doing the same what we have done in the kotlin let's see how we can do this in the java the same step everything same only the language from the kotlin we are using the java the same as we have done in the previous video let's quickly create one project for java and choose empty activity next and type a name demo app java this is for java and change the language from kotlin to java click finish okay let's go to activity dot activity main xml so don't don't need to waste time so let's copy from the kotlin file because xml file will be same copy both xml file and overwrite it and go to main activity now so the string we are we should add here okay it's perfect now go to the main activity java file and as we done before just copy it and paste it again here for the second activity don't waste time for create by creating like this it is very easy and change the map theme mapping from activity main to second activity now just go to android manifest and to the system we have created one more activity that's right so let's do the coding on the main activity dot java file now we are uh, can create one button object and import the function main function sorry main class and create one editor text don't forget the semicolon this is not kotlin this is java 
So btn text, sorry btn next equal to find view by id r dot id btn next semicolon then edit text is equal to find view by id r dot id dot edit text comma semicolon the same object so now we need button click listener so btn next dot set on click listener new view on click listener so here we will create the intent intent i is equal to new intent here main activity dot this comma the second activity dot class semicolon and start activity indent i this is enough for if we don't need to pass anything so in our case we are we need to pass something so we get the value from the editor text so we create a string is equal to string name is equal to editor text dot get text string some okay dot to string semicolon and i indent i dot put extra the function is same and we provide the value name and the real value name then let's go to second activity we need to catch the passed value here so let's create our test view object text view text tv let's make it symbol tv equal to find view by id r dot id dot tv1 the id name of text view then string text we can call text value or something then bundle so we need to catch the the password value bundle extra is so equal to get indent dot get extras semicolon if if it is empty if extra is equal to is equal to null then inside here we can do something we can set the value test field equal to null or else if it has some value came from main activity passed from main activity so what we will do we will do in the else part text value dot sorry text value is equal to extra dot get string this is how we are catching the value the name should be same on both both uh, main and second activity now tv the text view tv dot set text is equal to hello plus tv sorry not tv text value now let's run the project and see how it is coming or not okay main activity came now let's quickly type here something some text value let's type zion tech and click next see hello zion tech so the value zion tech is passed here i hope uh, this is informative and thank you for watching please consider subscribing let's see you on the next video